Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Raptor X here with Good Clean Gaming RX, and we are back in Auto Knots. This did uh, extremely well for the first video, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, continue that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, see about making a pickaxe right now because uh, I'm going to run out of stone here pretty quickly if we don't uh, if we don't get a pickaxe made. So I'm going to go ahead and do that and uh, mine myself some stone so that I always have enough of that. And then we will get started on uh, producing some more robots, uh, leveling up and getting the research that we need. Goodness, it takes a little while to, uh, to get the stone mined up there, doesn't it? Keep that, uh, we'll keep that up here, that way I have a way to, uh, perfect, alright, so we'll leave that one there, we've had a robot run out of charge here, so we'll go ahead and charge him back up, and then we're going to go ahead and convert this over to a shovel, and we'll see about, uh, See about getting our robots properly stocked back up with the tools that they need. There we go. So we'll go ahead and right click on this one and get him working again. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll just give this one to uh, to our robot here so that he can start chopping down trees again. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and uh, see about making up another robot here. Uh, we've got uh, plenty of the materials. Uh, set up and ready now. I'll have to see about making myself another uh, another axe so that I can. Oops, I guess we don't need that one over here. Okay, um, let's see here. We're going to need uh, three planks. Go ahead and charge him back up. There we go. One, two, three. Three, there we go, and then we'll go ahead and uh, see about making up We're gonna need a stick, there we go, let's go ahead and grab, we'll, we'll charge this one up There we go, and grab a stick Perfect, oops, wrong one, we want an axe <laughs> this one back up again, and that's going to be a, uh, that's going to be a common thing, is uh, charging up the robots, so once I get a couple more of these built, we'll see about, uh, see about making another robot to charge up the other robots, so that we don't have to do that anymore, we'll just have to charge up that one whenever he runs slow. All right, so I'll go ahead and take one of these holes and add it there. Perfect, another robot. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to teach this one uh, how to mine uh, some rock so that we always have that. So we'll go ahead and uh, press space to take control of a whistle and then the record button so that he follows instructions. Uh, actually, I'm going to stop this first. There we go. Now we'll start recording. Okay, and I'm going to go if else. And we're going to add one of those just right up here. And I'm going to go if hands full. Then find nearest stone deposits in this area. and mine that. 
and we're going to go ahead and we'll hold down control and move all of that over to here. And then if the hands are not full, go ahead and stop this. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put my pick over here. There we go. And then we're going to go and record again. And if hands not full, then pick up that. And we're going to go ahead and move those into there. And we'll put a repeat clause on that whole thing so that he'll do that forever. Alright, and then we'll play. And I'll give him my pickaxe. Oops. There we go. And he'll find that and go back and start mining rock. We'll charge this guy up. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start the process of making up a whole bunch more robots here. Uh, we've got we've got some logs. So we'll go ahead and take one of those. Put him over here. And then we'll get... Uh, two, three planks. Put those over here. There we go. Very good. And one of those. And one of these. And make another robot. Okay. We'll charge him up. We don't need that one anymore, so we'll close that out. And then we're going to start training this one. And I'm going to wait for a moment because uh, we want to wait until these run out of power. Which, it's going to be a minute anyway. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll teach this one how to uh, make items over here. So to do that, we're going to need some storage. So we'll close this for right now and we'll see about setting up some storage bins. So we'll do a crate. And we'll go one, two, and three. And close that. All right, we need planks and poles for these. So I'm just going to go ahead and start collecting those. One, two, three, four. And since we have a nice ready stock of planks, we can do this quite quickly. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, we've got one guy here who's got uh, got no power, so we're going to go ahead and whistle and start training this one, and he's going to start listening, and we're going to go charge up the robot, and we're going to edit this, because this is where the large majority of my people are, are my robots, sorry, are concentrated, so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'm just going to tell them, anywhere in here, go ahead and charge up a robot. And we'll go ahead and do that repeat forever. And it's just going to do that. It's going to wait until a robot runs out of power over here. And then it's going to run over and charge it back up again. So we'll go ahead and hit play. I'm going to name this one. And we'll go charge robot 1. And we'll just leave that one right there. Okay, we're out of shovels here. So I'm going to go ahead and make a quick edit to the script on this one. There we go. And I'm going to stop him and start recording. And I'm going to make an if else here. And we'll move that into here. And we'll move all of these if hands full. If hands empty. Let me pause this one quickly. There we go. Okay, perfect. That's got that working. Uh, we're going to go ahead and record again, and we'll go, if hands empty, pick that one up. And I'm holding down control to select all of these, and then we'll go drag all of those into there. And that'll come and look for a spade as soon as he runs out. So we'll go ahead and hit play, and he's going to go, oh, my hands are not full, I'm out of a spade. Oh, we found a spade, we'll pick that one up, and go back to digging holes. Perfect. Okay, which means I'm going to need to make some more robots so that I can make them 
do the things that we need to do. So we're going to pick up a rock over here and we'll make an axe. We'll make a, yeah, make an axe here quickly. So that this guy can come and get one of those. All right, and he's not, uh, he's not working on that one yet. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this one. Record. We'll add an if else. And we'll go ahead and, and add each of these items. All right. And then we'll go ahead and pick this one up. There we go. And now those are set up. And we'll go ahead and hit play. And we'll put that one back. Perfect. Okay. So this one is about out of power. But his his mining area is full here. So I'm going to go ahead and flick the stick here quickly. There we go. And then he should be able to start digging there. And we'll see him run out of power. And my little robot should go ahead and charge him up. That'll be this one over here. Whoop, there we go. He's out of power. And there he goes. He's going to go ahead and charge him up. And then he'll come over and charge this one as well. Good little robot. Perfect. Alright. So that's working along quite nicely. This guy, of course, is out of the range. So I'm going to go ahead and come over here and charge him up myself. That's okay. We'll add more robots as we get the chance. Alright. Two, three. And we'll add this one over here. Hang on. Why did I not pick one of those up? Here we go. There we go. Perfect. Now we've got another bot. All right, so we're gonna charge him up and we're gonna start him collecting stones. So we will go ahead and hit space to start select him and start teaching. And we're gonna go ahead and do if else again. If hands full, Actually, let's see here. If hands not full, there we go. And we'll go ahead and pick up rocks. I'm going to go ahead and edit this uh, and just move it around. There we go. So that it properly fits all of that area. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and there we go. And then as soon as he's got uh, his hands full, then we'll go ahead and come over here and put it into there. And we're going to go ahead and... Uh, ooh, you know what? That's not going to work properly. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to just put a standard repeat into there. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll select all of these. And he's going to find the nearest stone until his hands are full. And then I'm just going to go ahead and delete. Actually, we'll go ahead and move these out of here. There we go. And then we'll delete that one. There we go. And then I'll go ahead and put another repeat into here. There we go. And then we're going to go ahead and do this until hands empty. Move to stone storage and add stone storage one. And then we'll go ahead and do a repeat forever. And that'll let him know. Go ahead and go over here. Pick up rocks until your hands are full. Then come over here and deposit the rocks until your hands are empty and do that over and over again. So we'll go ahead and hit play and he'll be a good little robot and start on that job. And that'll continue of course until this storage is full and then he won't be able to deposit those so we'll always have a robot sitting there waiting to put more rocks into it. They can only carry three at once. 
Basically, he'll go one, two, three, right into there. Very good. And then he'll go back and look for more. And this one's going to continue digging uh, to keep those rocks filled up. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and we'll make another bot. I'm going to grab this one because this one's close. We don't need that open anymore. Three of those, perfect. So we're going to go ahead and add these. All right, and charge him up. And then we're going to teach him to make tools. So we're going to record, and we're going to go if else, and we're going to go not full, and then we're going to select this one. And actually, I don't need to do that. So we'll go ahead and we'll remove that one. And we're just going to go repeat. And we're going to go repeat until full. And we'll select this one here. All right. And then we'll go ahead and start. Uh, we'll go to here. Do that. And then we'll go ahead and we'll go find a stick. We don't have anyone collecting those yet. And we're going to edit the size of this one so that it's the full area. And move to select all of this. And select. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to come over here and add this. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and we're going to move all of these into there. And then we'll add another repeat clause for forever. So that'll just sit there and it'll continue to make those. If this is full, it won't make any more of them. But then as soon as that empty, it'll hit the repeat clause again and go ahead and make another one. So we'll go ahead and hit play. It's going to move to the stone storage. Whoop. And it's going to go full. Move to stick. And you'll pick one of those up. And then it's going to sit there and just cycle, because it goes, oh, it's full, I can't make anything more. And it'll just sit there and run. Alright. What's wrong with this one? Why is he not moving? Maybe he's, oh, no. What's he doing? Oh, he's looking for a hole. Okay. And I think... He's probably out of uh, out of a shovel. All right. Well, we'll go ahead and make another one of those then. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll put up another crude workbench here quickly. There we go. And we'll make another one. There we go. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll add to each of these. One, two sticks. One log. Two logs. Alright. And then we'll go ahead and do the same for this one here. There we go. One. Two sticks. Perfect. Okay, so we've got this one making axes right now. So we'll set this one to make shovels and this one to make pickaxes. All right, and we're going to go ahead and we'll make some more robots so that those can automatically be made. One, two, three. And this is kind of the, the fun bit, is when you start to make everything work together uh, so, that, so that everything works and it clicks, that's when it really gets fun. Because then everything is, is self-perpetuating.
Alright, we've got a shovel. I'm going to go ahead and we'll find the one... That's the charger bot. Tree planter. He's planting. Hole digger. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and select him. Stop. And record. And we're going to find crude spade. There we go. And that'll find one here. Anywhere we slice it. Any of these will make one and pop one out there and it's going to find one. There we go. Pick one up and off he goes. Very good. Alright. So now we just have to make a bot to go ahead and do that. Go ahead and grab a log to put in over here. And then I'm going to go ahead and clean up the poles that I have over here. One. And two. Put one over here and then we'll just park the other one over this way. There we go. Oops. There we go. Charge him up. And then we'll go ahead and teach him. And say... Grab a stone. Add it to the bench. Grab a stick. Add it to the bench. We're going to put a repeat until full. There we go. And then we'll go ahead and do a repeat clause for that whole thing. And play. And he'll just sit there. Perfect. Alright. So he's going to sit until that's done. And then we're going to go ahead. Good, he's digging and planting. Very good. We'll go ahead and we'll make one more. Uh, we'll go grab another log. And we'll get this one to be able to. This one will make all of our picks so that our little robot over here will be able to uh, to get the picks. What do we need another plank? Perfect, we'll go ahead and grab one of those then. Alright, we'll charge him up and start listening here. And we're going to go ahead and grab a stick from somewhere in that area. There we go. And we're going to go ahead and pop it into here. Then we're going to grab a stone and pop that one into there as well. Perfect. And we'll go ahead and do that one and we'll go until full. Select that one, and then we'll go another forever loop and play. Perfect. Okay, so now these are all going. We're going to go ahead, and I'm going to create a new group here. Uh, let's see here. Create a new team. There we go. And we're going to make this dual crafters. And, yep, we'll just leave this yellow. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to find, let's see here, this one's number 12, so we'll go ahead and add this one to there. And then we'll add 10 as well, and 11, there we go. And this is a very key point, you have to make three groups to get the official planning robotics team. And that finishes up your robotics and gives you crude wheels and crude gears. That's a big thing that I could not figure out how and why it wasn't working. And that's that's a very important bit. So we'll go ahead and tell that one. Shush. Alright. So we can now make those crude gears and crude wheels in any of these. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make another, uh, another bench over here. We'll just put that one right there. And we'll go ahead and do that one there too, just for making 
some of each. You can only pick up one log. So that'll take a little bit to... That's, that's the only thing that... And of course, it's understandable because you can only pick up one log. You know, they're, they're heavy. But it means lots of traps backwards and forwards. Okay. And we're going to go ahead and set this one up to make crude gears. And for that, we need planks. And I'm just going to go ahead and collect all four and make a bunch of these. There we go. Perfect. Alright, so we'll go ahead and charge this guy up again. And I'm going to go ahead and we'll pull open, let's see here, hole digger, tree chopper. I'm going to go ahead and we'll pull this one open again. And we're going to make sure, okay, so he's looking right there. That's good because that's exactly where he's going to look for that. We're going to find tree, or sorry, hole digger, number one. And we're going to find, where is he looking? Okay, good. That one's good as well. Uh, let's see here. Charger bot. Here's the stones. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and go stone miner one. And I'm going to stop him and edit this. Record. There we go. Edit this. And we're going to go find it in there. Perfect. Alright. And then, he'll be able to find this one. Perfect. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and we're going to name each of these. Let's see here, number 10 is an Axe Crafter. Axe Crafter 1. Those are kind of annoying. Uh, let's see here. That's this one, 11, so he's making shovels. Shovel crafter one. And this one will be pick crafter. There we go. Perfect. So we've got all of them organized. And we'll be able to keep all of that going. Stone deposit. Okay, good. Okay, so that's the basics then. All of my robots can now uh, build the things that they need. Picks, shovels, and axes. This one's going to collect stones as long as they have them up here. This one's going to continue mining stones and finding another pick as soon as his hands are empty. This one's going to... let's see here, which one is this? That's the charger bot, so he just runs around charging things back up. I've got my hole digger, tree chopper, and tree planter that will continue to sustain my forest. And uh, turn out as many logs as I need. And so, I'm going to go ahead and start on the next little bit of uh, the game. So to do that, I'm going to start on colonization. So I need a research station. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put that one... Yeah, we'll put that one right here. And then we're going to go ahead and we're going to find some berries. So those are going to be a decent number of berries right here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to get a colonist seed dispenser. And we're going to put one of those right there. And a colonist incubator and put one of those right there. Very good. Alright, so we'll close those out. And we'll see what we need here. We need two crude gears. Four poles and four planks. There we go. Go ahead and chop these up and turn them into poles. 
Yeah, right. Perfect. And make our seed dispenser. Alright. Colonist seed dispenser complete. Here's a pod of colonist seeds. Those right there. Very good. Official mining has been completed. Very good. And that's allowed me the Mac and the Sou'wester hat. Very different cosmetics to the mining commemorative slab. Very good. And let's see here. We're going to need the same for these. We'll go ahead and pick up another two gears. Very good. We'll go ahead and charge him back up. Very good. Drop these over here. Turn them into poles. One, two, three, four. Perfect. And we'll make our incubator over here. And then, let's see here, we're going to need two logs, eight planks, eight poles, and two stones to be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the two stones here. Grab the two logs. go and then we'll go ahead and grab these as well and turn all of these into poles all right put that one back in storage Alright, you are ready to begin your exciting journey of scientific discovery. All available research is summarized here. Click on an entry to see what you need to research and all related technology unlocked. You can now research any of the level 1 technology. Very good. So, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to research... Ooh, let's see here. Blade, mallet, fishing stick. I'm going to go ahead and we'll research tool technology for right now. And that's going to say we need 20 colonist wealth and a stone. So I'm going to go ahead and we'll pick that over here. Tool technology. We'll go ahead and grab a stone. All right, so that's going to bring us to Colonist Wolf, and we're going to leave it right there for right now because we've run out of time again. So in the next episode, we'll go over creating colonists, feeding them, and getting them to boost Wolf that we can put into our research station over here and start cranking out better research, better tools, all kinds of upgrades, and begin our journey into the technological eras of the future. All right, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. If you found this video fun, informative, or just like to hit that like button, go ahead and do that. And if you haven't yet subscribed, consider doing that. Um, I'm going to continue uh, putting out these videos and probably interspersing them with Eco, so stay tuned if you like either of those. And I will see you in the next one. Take care, everyone. Ta-ta.